At a party meeting in Rizi, the Turkish president said that military intervention in the Palestine-Israel conflict was a possibility, citing experience in Karabakh and Libya. As we entered Karabakh, as we entered Libya, so will we do to them. Nothing is impossible. We just need to be strong to take these steps, the Turkish leader said. Local media outlets accompanied the news with a reminder that in November 2023, Turkey's parliament has extended for a year the mission of the Republic's armed forces in Azerbaijan as part of the joint Russian-Turkish monitoring center. At the same time, the Turkish Majlis extended for 24 months the mandate for the military contingent to stay in Libya. He is there on the basis of an agreement signed between Turkey I and the Government of National Accord on military cooperation. Israeli Foreign Minister Yisrael Katz reacted to the Turkish president's words. Erdogan is following in the footsteps of Saddam Hussein and threatening to attack Israel. Let's just remind him what happened there and how it ended, Katz wrote on social network X. He accompanied his message with a photo collage of two pictures. One shows Erdogan wearing sunglasses and a scarf in the colors of the Palestinian and Turkish flags. The other shows Hussein with a long beard and disheveled hair. The second photo was taken in 2003, shortly after the capture of the by then deposed Hussein by the US military. The Turkish foreign ministry did not take it kindly and immediately responded to the Israeli colleague's attack on Erdogan with a statement. Just as Adolf Hitler, who committed genocide, ended, so will Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu end, the Turkish foreign ministry said. Recall that in 2003, a military coalition of several countries led by the United States launched an invasion of Iraq. The operation, dubbed Iraqi Freedom, was carried out without authorization from the UN Security Council. The US has accused Iraq of hiding chemical weapons from international inspectors and continuing to produce weapons of mass destruction. The US military eventually killed the Iraqi leader's two sons and his grandson. The Americans seized Saddam Hussein as the head of the country and handed him over to his political opponents in flagrant violation of international law. Saddam Hussein was then hanged. Saddam's death, however, and this was expected, did not make Iraq any better. However, it is no secret that countries where the US comes in rarely find peace and order. This is not in the plans, in the real plans of Washington, not in the plans voiced by spokesmen. Chemical weapons, like weapons of mass destruction, have never been found. However, trying to threaten the leader of a NATO member state with the second most powerful army in the alliance is something new. Netanyahu and his cabinet seem to have received clear instructions from the agonizing Democrat government to self-destruct, which could lead to something big, possibly World War III.